I'm Scott Stein, and this is some of my iPad art. Now, you don't need a pen or any sort of stylus to create art like this on an iPad. You just use your little finger. Ask any draw something addict. Then again, there's a pretty big market for iPad styli. Why? Because the more art that you do on an iPad or any sort of capacitive tablet like an Android tablet, you're probably going to want to use something like a pen, otherwise uh, the finger painting can get a little bit tiring. There are a lot of styli on the market, and one of the favorites that I saw last year was the Wacom Bamboo Stylus, a $30 uh, stylus that had a nice aluminum barrel and a good feel to it and a nice rubber tip. Well, lo and behold, Wacom has introduced the Stylus Duo for people who still like writing on regular pads with pens because it is a stylus with a pen on the other end. Pretty obvious and pretty clever. This is $10 more than last year's Wacom stylus, and it's a little bit larger uh, to accommodate the size and feel of what a pen would be. Plus, there's a refillable ink cartridge in here that works like any standard refillable ballpoint ink pen. I mean, it's not the most spectacular pen, but it's a fine pen. It's got a nice little fine tip there. It does everything you'd think a pen would do. And the other side here is a rubberized capacitive stylus tip that works just like last year's. Now, if anyone hasn't used a capacitive stylus before, you might be a little thrown by the fact that it doesn't come to a sharp tip. It kind of replicates what your finger does, and it has a soft touch, but it doesn't have any pressure sensitivity because there is no pressure sensitivity on styli using the iPad, unlike what you'd see on the Samsung Galaxy Note. But still, use the Wacom stylus, and you'll find that that soft touch uh, gives a lot more flexibility, at least for me, than my finger does. Although you'll notice that there's a little bit of a delay in most apps that's not quite like what you would have when you put a pen to paper. Keep the cap off, and I think it's a little too short for a pen, but if you put that cap on the back, it feels perfect. Now, what's the appeal of having a pen and a stylus together? It's one less thing to carry in your bag. I mean, when you get your keyboard, your case, your chamois, your stylus, it gets to be a lot of accessories for a device that was supposed to be pure and minimal and have no accessories. That was the whole idea behind the iPad in the first place. But uh, if you're an artist and if you find yourself using a lot of the great sketch apps that are on the iPad already, like Paper and, um, and all these other programs, then you might find yourself really getting a kick out of using one of these styli. And remember, this is not just for the iPad. It's for any capacitive tablet or even something like a smartphone. You could use this on an Android phone. You could use it on an iPhone. You could use it on an Android tablet. As long as it's got that capacitive touch interface, then this will work just fine. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the Wacom Bamboo Stylus Duo.